How's it going guys? I'm Dustin with Hard Cruise Racing and lately on our Instagram and Facebook we've had a few questions about our junkyard race engine. Wanting to know things about the heads, things about the headers, uh, so on and so forth. So I want to real quick just hit what all the parts are on our race engine. Now, if you haven't watched the video yet, um, we did crack open the old engine, the one that blew up, um, and it's just, it, it, it's pieces on cylinder four, that's why we were able to push it down, that's why we needed a rebuild. Fun fact, after I opened it, I left it out in the rain, or I left it outside, and as you see, the bearing on cylinder four is really starting to rust up there, which tells me I probably didn't have any oiling in there. So that sucks. Um, and my other conclusion, just kind of looking through some of the pieces, is I think, just because the fact that there is no nut on the one side now, I think that the nut backed off on the one side of the bearing and blew it apart. So, all right, so taking a quick look at our engine, I still don't have any of the cooling back in there or any of the accessories on the front to run that cooling fan or anything like that. Uh, race is coming up. I do need to get that done. As you can see, uh, the paint didn't actually melt off of our headers. Um, don't paint your headers like I did. That was dumb. It looked good though, didn't it? Still looks good. Um, so, quick, what we did. That's a old block from the early 80s, okay? We picked up this new block, this new whole engine assembly, out of a junkyard from a 1989 Ranger. Okay, 89. Now, here's the thing with 89. They were already running coil packs, which means I don't have a distributor, right? Um, they also don't have a mechanical fuel pump. They do still have the distributor hole and uh, a plug in there. Here's that plug. There you go. There's the plug that's in there. So you simply undo the bolt that's down there. This pulls right out. Your distributor goes right down into it. Now, with this being a distributor class, class of racing, I have to use a distributor. I need to use a carb, okay? That means that I need to use the old intake. And uh, the only way to do that is to use the old head. So I have the old early 80s head, which allows me to use the old 80s intake and exhaust manifold, which as you can see, we have a nice header down there, um, which runs to our carb. Now here is the old, or the new head, the 89 head. Um, I think I'm gonna do some stuff, something with it, okay? This has rockers on it. I kind of want the roller rockers, so I'm gonna tear this down, pull all that apart, and we might try to use it on our engine over the winter just to see how it turns out. But this is an eight plug head. So you have four on this side, four on that side, but uh, we can't use that, okay? So yeah, that's the new head, but we're not using it right now. But hey, roller rockers, those are tempting. So back over to our engine. We have that whole old head on there. Not a bad thing, guys. The one thing I, t I say you need to be careful with is the timing, okay? On these old ones, on these uh, these uh, lovely gears here, we have this little notch down there, down there. Now, it is, they say to time this, but this notch facing that way and that notch facing this way with uh, everything at top dead center. One thing I did find out the hard way is the um, keyway on this, this gear or on this pulley. Uh, TDC is not where top dead center is. It's just before it, okay? But as in top dead center is before the TDC. I don't know if they're geared differently between 80, early 80s and 89. I'm not sure. It could just be that pulley. Could have been wrong in the old engine. I didn't have the old engine apart or worked on, uh, so I don't know. Okay, so, but we are using that old pulley system just because of the belt that's going to run to everything. Now, remember I said that you we need a uh, fuel pump. The old engine has a, a mechanical fuel pump. This one didn't have the slot. I just bought a cheap out of rock fuel pump from O'Reilly's ahead on the shelf. I zip tied it in place. We're going to see how it works. Could be a fail. I have metal zip ties in the car, so I think I'm going to pull one of those out so we can get at least one on there. So if it, something does come to, start to come apart, everything stays in place. Really, I need to have a little bit longer hose, but... Uh, I didn't change the hose. Honestly, I, I took the pump off the front and I slid everything forward and that's about it, okay? So we're real tight. We're about as tight as we can be on this fuel line where I feel safe with it, but I do need to extend this a little bit at some point in time. If we come back up here where the fuel line's running up, I mean, you can see like there's not a lot of play in there and it comes right up and tees right into it. As far as wiring goes, uh, 
pretty simplified. The blue is power humming in, which goes to a master switch right here. That switch splits off and either goes to the coil or runs back to the switch and the button so we can use it as a starter. And uh, that runs up and goes straight to the starter down there, which is a one bolt starter. And then obviously it grounds to the block. We have a strap coming over and grounding back over to the frame, but that's not really needed. It's very simple, straightforward uh, wiring and not a lot to it really. So uh, that's where we're at with our race engine right now. I do need to get the cooling system put back together. I need to drain and refill the transmission. And then I think I want to try to get that rear end pulled apart before the race next weekend. But that's like, shoot, it's Thursday night. That's eight days, really seven days of being able to work on it before we have to be on a track for a two race event, um, Friday and Saturday at that same racetrack. So I probably should get that done, right? Yeah. So this thing better run good. <laughs> yeah, it does. I got to get it in time. It's not running great yet. Yet. It's not running bad. It's just, it needs fine tuned, guys. So we need to get that done when you get ready. Um, but I think that's everything I can tell you about our engine right now. It is early or a late 80s block, but all the rest of the components on it, the head, the intake, the exhaust, all of that are early 80s. Late 80s, early 80s. 89 block, lower end early 80s head and everything up around so yeah i hope that explains everything i hope that helps for anybody that was wondering how they could possibly convert their ranger to a carb setup and a little ripper so it's fun i enjoy it um yeah get out there build cool things let me know if you have something cool you want to show me i want to see it most importantly get out there have fun and have a good day